benvenuti, ben ritrovati. Welcome back to my Italian lessons. So, today we're going to talk about orari. Gli orari. Gli is the, the article, obviously, and orari. Uh, so, we're going to talk about hours, time, okay, timetables. We're going to find a proper way to ask what time it is or at what time something starts and uh, we also need to give answers. And in order to do that, we need our giant huge watch here, okay, and we have to repeat very very quickly the numbers, obviously. If you have any doubts concerning the numbers, pronunciation or other uh, things concerning numbers, you just have to go back to my previous lessons because I have talked about that in detail, okay, in detail, and so we have a proper lesson talking about numbers and everything. Uh, and every detail is a concern number. Now, for today we just need the first 12 numbers. Well, yes, when we express time in, a, um, in an informal way. But for a more formal, for a more formal way to express the time, we need uh, to talk about 24 hours. And so we need 24 numbers, obviously. So let's repeat them very, very quickly together, okay, and then you'll understand what I'm talking about with my examples. So, let's start repeating the numbers very, very, very quickly. So, oh, wow, we start with an exception here. This number here is uno, okay, we know that, uno. But attention, when we talk about time, when we talk about watch, when we ask what time it, it is or, or anything concerning timetables, it's not uno, but it is una. It's feminine because it refers to an hour, okay? And ora, ora, hour, in Italian is feminine. For that, for that reason, we don't say uno, but we say una when talking about a clock, watch, or something, okay? So, uno, well, una in this case, due, tre, quattro, cinque, sei, sette, otto, 9, 10, 11, 12, and eventually we can go on, okay, so with 13, uh, and it is 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, okay, 18 is here, okay, it's 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 24, it's midnight. Okay, now um, let's start with the basic question, okay? How can we ask, what time is it? Okay, the question is, che ore sono? Che ore sono? Che mi scusi? Okay, I'm, maybe there is someone on the street and I stop him or her and I say, excuse me, so, mi scusi? Che ore sono? Okay, what time it is, is it, sorry. Um, I could also create a more ki a kinder question. Uh, would you please tell me what time it is? So, excuse me, mi scusi, può dirmi che ore sono? Può, può dirmi, sorry. Può dirmi che ore sono? Okay, sorry. Would you please, can you please tell me what time it is? Mi scusi, può dirmi che ore sono? Che ore sono? Well, the answer will be sono le and the proper time, okay, of the moment. What can we notice here? So, the basic question uh, is really basic. Che is... Uh, what, okay? I know, I know that uh, um, uh, we don't use che very much uh, usually in order to translate what. Uh, we tend to translate what with uh, cosa, okay? Uh, sometimes quale, even if it is more like which. Uh, more seldom, more uh, rarely we can find this translation here, but this is a sentence that we have to repeat just the way it is. 
The other thing we can notice is that we are talking about a plural here. We're not asking what time, so the question is not what time is it, but we are, talk, we are asking uh, what hours are they? Okay, so ore, hours, is plural and obviously the, this is the, the, the verb to be, it is plural too, because obviously the conjugation has to follow the subject in this case. Che ore sono? So what or which, the, the translation, the literary tra translation doesn't make sense actually, but just in order to understand it's what or which, hours, and this is are. Okay, it's very different from, from the, the English form, okay? And it is plural. Okay, this is a very common mistake because we don't we tend to use the singular form here. The answer is obviously uh, it follows completely the question. Sono le, uh, we don't need to repeat ours, okay? In this case it is implicit. Sono le, and then we answer. So, let's imagine that the hours, okay, the, the hour we're talking about is two, okay, and we just change the minutes in order to make examples. The, the idea is very similar to the English uh, pattern, okay, so we have minutes or quarter of hours or half hours and we consider whether they are after or before the, the hour we're talking about. So in this case if it is Two o'clock, okay, two o'clock, it is due in punto. In punto is o'clock. In punto, so this is that specific hour. Due in punto, two o'clock. Sono le due in punto. Okay, it is two o'clock. Easy. But let's stick with the two for the moment and let's start uh, talking about other minutes. Let's start with the first example which is in red, so you see the red here and also it is written in red here, so it is more clear to follow. So two and, well in, in, in English we say half past two, okay, so it's half an hour after basically two o'clock. How can we say that in Italian? We have basically uh, the informal and most common way to, to say so, which is due e mezza. Okay, due e mezza. Due is the, the, the hour, okay, e and Mezza, it means half and it is feminine again because we are always talking about ore and the hours is always always feminine, okay? So due e, okay, and, okay, half an hour, due e mezza, it's half, half past, uh, I, I have written one here but it is two, okay, it's half past two, okay? This is quite informal. Uh, then there are two uh, more formal. You can see here that I put an F. I wrote an F and F stands for formal. So the other two uh, possibilities here are, uh, the both of them are more formal than the previous one, but it, they are very, very much used, especially at work or when we're talking about timetables or when we're talking about, I don't know, public transports, for example, or meetings, so formal situations in general, appointments and so on. So uh, we won't say in this case due e mezza, which is informal, it means half, half an hour. We say due e trenta. So basically we read exactly the numbers due, two and trenta, which is thirty, thirty minutes, okay? Or eventually, eventually, we can even, and this is, this is even more formal, but it is absolutely used a lot, uh, always, always when I talk, I'm talking about public transports, always, in order not to make confusion, obviously, we don't have a.m. and p.m., so 
it could be confusing to use the 12 uh, hours day okay it's more clear to use the 24 hours day so in this case if I'm, if I'm talking about obviously I'm talking about the afternoon I could say 14 e 30 14 is always 2 okay but it is 14 so it's 2 but in the in the afternoon e 30 is obviously the same because it is all always and 30 minutes okay so basically the half an hour is e mezza okay or e 30 which is more form formal and the formal mm, expression can have two different ways okay the first one okay for when for the 12 hour hours day and the second one for the 24 hours day which is I repeat very very common especially at work all right then let's uh, go on and see the blue option here which is written in blue here as well I move on the other side of the whiteboard then uh, don't worry okay because at the end of it I move away and you can eventually uh, take your screenshot or whatever you need now we are talking about a quarter of hour here okay let's talk always about two as the hour but the minutes okay here are 15 a quarter of hour so how can I say so how can I say a quarter past two basically I will say it like this due e un quarto due e same structure as before I'm not saying mezza which was half I say I say here un quarto a quarter a quarter of hour obviously we don't say of hour we just say a quarter it's masculine okay uh, so a quarter past two so this situation here with blue minutes here is uh, due e un quarto due e un quarto we remember the pronunciation we talked about that a lot in my lesson about the alphabet phonetics when we have a q q and u the pronunciation is q q due e un quarto it's uh, quarter past three tre e un quarto quarter past four quattro e un quarto and so on and so on and so on okay then we have the two formal formal forms okay the two formal options the first one using the 12 hours day, um, due e quindici, due, it's always the hour, e quindici, 15 minutes, okay, quindici is 15, I don't need to say minutes, I just say 15, okay, so it's uh, literally, it should be 2 and 15, okay, as it is written here. And then the other option, if I'm talking about uh, the 24 uh, hours clock okay uh, always talking about 2 which is 14 in the afternoon it is 14 and um, 14 sorry and uh, 15 so 14 e 15 14 14 which is 2 but pm e 15 again which is exactly the same as before as it is written here okay so we use mezza un quarto in the informal way and in this case we use only 12 hours uh, watches okay while in the second um, option okay we don't use mezza un quarto anymore okay and we have the option okay to use 20 24 hours okay let's go um, ahead with this other part here in purple in, the, in in violet I hope you can read it well okay it's another quarter here but it is before okay the following hour so in this case the hour is always two and uh, it's one two three 
quarters of hours and then I have okay my time and it is just one quarter before the next hour which is three in this case so let's see how we can say that so in this case as it happens in English and in many other languages I have to consider uh, the hour after okay and so uh, in this case I have to consider three okay I am going towards three o'clock okay uh, the space here is smaller than the all space here and so I consider this gap and not and not all this path here so uh, in, in English we say it is a quarter to three okay in Italian it's pretty much the same we say tre, three, meno, minus, so it is lacking something, it's not three o'clock, three, okay, it's not completely three o'clock, I am still missing something, meno, un quarto, a quarter, as it was before. Okay, this minus here, we use it also in maths, okay, uh, minus means that something is missing okay something is lacking and I'm lacking this quarter here to get three o'clock this is why it is tre meno un quarto a quarter to three also in this case I've got the formal uh, opportunity and in this case I will not consider what is lacking what is missing to get to the following uh, hour so the, to three o'clock no I am considering I'm counting all the minutes okay that have passed after two o'clock so in this case I would say due okay due again e and 45 45 is 45 45 minutes okay so two is here and 45 minutes have passed after 2 o'clock. 2 e 45, as it is written here in numbers. Same goes for the afternoon, if I want to use the 24 uh, way to express the time. In this case, 2 is always 14 e 45 is always the same. It's pretty much the same so the only one which is a little bit different in this case is uh, the, f the informal uh, version okay because I have to think about the the following hour okay and then I, s I have to say meno so go um, back in time and a quarter what tre meno un quarto I know, I know, I know, timing clocks, watches, it's, it's, it's always a little bit tricky in every single language. And now we are talking about the o'clock, okay, o'clock, quarters, okay, half an hour, but any other minutes, how can I express any other minutes before or after the half hour? Well, um, the structure is uh, uh, pretty much the same as it is in English. Uh, I have to uh, consider, um, first of all, if the minutes I am talking about are, as I said, before the half hour or after the half hour. If they are before, I would use my hour and I will add my minutes. If the minutes are on the other side of the watch, so after the half hour, I will use the same um, technique, okay, the same way of thinking I have considered with the, uh, this quarter here. So I consider the minutes that are lacking, okay, I'm considering the minutes two to the following hour. Let's go and see here in orange. 
let's start um, with so as you may see in orange here I've considered 20 minutes obviously it could be 20 23 22 uh, 12 um, 14 it's, it's it's the same okay this is just an example to give you an idea with minutes that are not uh, we can say standard like a quarter or half an hour or similar so let's say 20 but it's just a convention I'm using to make it easier so let's start considering this situation here when 2 is the, the hour and 20 minutes have passed okay so in this case it is 2 okay 2 e 20 and 20 minutes obviously so it's 2 and 20 minutes have passed after 2 uh, this a and in this case means that I am adding something okay I'm adding 20 minutes in this case in uh, in English it, it should be uh, 20 past 2 okay so I use the same idea okay that 20 minutes are past 2 o'clock but I just use the uh, the form in another way I have to uh, reverse it in, in Italian but the, the idea is exactly the same so it is 2 e 20 2 e 20 20 past 2 uh, when I go on the other side of the watch here so I go after the half hour I'm here this orange part here I'm talking about 20 minutes again to to the following hour and the following hour is three okay, okay so it's uh, basically 20 to 3 how can I say that in Italian 3 3 meno again 20 3 meno 20 3 meno 20 so 3 should be the the final aim but I'm still lacking 20 minutes to go there meno minus as it was before so 2 e 20 is this one here 3 meno 20 is this one here okay in this case it's easier to use the formal option why because I don't have to do this thing of considering if it is past or to the following uh, the following hour I don't have to do that I just have two options here uh, and they only concern two okay it could be two if it is in the morning or 14 if it is in the afternoon but it's always referring to that okay and I can add 20 or 40 so it is 14, but it could be also 2, okay, if it was in, uh, in, in, in the morning, so 2 or 14, morning or, 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 or afternoon, e 20 e 40, 2 or 14, e 20 e 40. That's easy, I don't have to, <laughs> to think about, okay, the following hour or whatever, I just stick to my hour. And I add 20 minutes or I add 40 minutes it's easier okay less used you would rarely use them while talking to friends or in family but you can find it a lot in this case it's written like this okay maybe for timetables or uh, the train station or uh, I don't know the airport or something it's very much used in that case so now we have the opportunity to ask che ore sono? Mi scusi, che ore sono? Per favore, please. Uh, mi scusi, può dirmi che ore sono? Per favore. Certo, sì. Certamente. Sono le Ok, this is the answer. Sono le 3 o'clock. Sono le 3 in punto. Ok? Sono le otto e mezza. Otto e mezza, half past eight. Sono le 
nove e um quarto. A quarter past nine. Sono le dieci meno cinque. Five to ten. Dieci, ok, le dieci, meno cinque. So five minutes are lacking, ok, until I arrive to ten o'clock. Dieci meno cinque. You can see that the, the idea is the same that I have to Uh, to get to the to the following hour, but the uh, the, the 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 structure of, of the sentence is completely uh, reversed. Okay, it's the opposite, <laughs> so you have to pay attention. Um, again, other examples. Um, sono le cinque e un quarto. Le cinque e un quarto. It's a quarter. Past five. Sono le undici e venti. Sono le undici e venti. Venti minuti. Ok? So it is twenty past eleven. Let's go with some formal uh, options here. Uh, maybe 24 hours, which is easier, it's more, more difficult, depends, ok, on the way you, you think about that. It's, uh, uh, sono le 17 e 20. 17, what is 17? 17 is 17, and 17 is 5 in this case. Why? Because it's 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, ok? Le 17 e 20, e 20 minuti. So, 20 minuti. It is 20 past 5 p.m. Ok, the afternoon. Again, sono le 20 in punto. Using again 24 hours here. 20 in punto, o'clock. 20 is 8 obviously in the evening, ok, 8 p.m. Again, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, ok? Oh, um, sono le eh, 23 e 15, 23 is 23, so it is 11 e 15, it means Uh, which is a quarter past 11 p.m. But uh, the same, exactly the same, so um, a quarter past 11, okay, if it was said in, a, in an informal way, it should be a quarter past 11, so also in Italian I use the form with a quarter, un quarto, le undici, e un quarto. Very, very, very rarely you could find a mixture of the two forms. So, uh, instead of undici, eleven, find um, uh, 23, so uh, 23, and uh, the form with uh, un quarto, a quarter, which is the informal one. You could find it, but it is very, 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 uh, very uncommon, okay? If you find 23, 23, you find e 15, if you find 11, you can say uh, e un quarto, with the un quarto form, so un quarto, mezza, they are all used for the informal sentences. I know, I know, it's never easy, it's never easy when we are talking about times. There are also more complications here <laughs> when I ask specific questions, like for example, what time does the party begin? A che ora? What time? A che ora inizia la festa? Inizia, starts, la festa, the party. A che ora? The answer would be alle, at, alle. The, again, you can find here, it's not a, it's alle, so there is the article inside, and it is an article that is 
feminine and plural, alle, alle. And then you use exactly the same ways we have just studied, exactly the same. Um, we can say also, sometimes we um, can also give uh, well, a beginning and ending of something, an end of something. We say from, to, dalle, alle. Okay, it is open, è aperto, dalle, tre, alle, sette. A shop, maybe. È aperto is open, dalle 3 or dalle 15, okay, if I'm talking about the afternoon and I want to be more formal, I can say dalle 15, alle 7, okay, that was the informal option, the more formal option is 19, okay, 19, obviously I'm talking about the evening. Okay, that's all for today. I've made a few examples. I know it's not easy. I know it's not easy. It can't be easy. I move away from, from, from it, okay? I, I hope that uh, with this scheme it could be easier for you to understand. Uh, asking, okay, what time it is and giving answers is never easy in, in any language. But I, I, I really hope that it helps, okay? And, um, I hope it could be useful for you. If it was, please leave, give me a, leave me, sorry, a like, as we say in Italian, un pollice su, a thumb up. Uh, if you find my, my course, my Italian course, or any other courses I've got in, on this channel, so the English course, uh, German course, English literature course, American literature course, well, anyway, just uh, subscribe, my, subscribe my channel, and thank you so very much, grazie mille, per avermi seguito, for watching, for watching me. Grazie davvero, buono studio e a presto. See you soon. See ya.